Good morning. I am David, Assistant Professor and Department of Mechanical Engineering, Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. In this video, I am going to teach some few topics from the first unit of Process Planning and Cost Estimation subject. The first unit title is Introduction to Process Planning. So we can see the syllabus of first unit that is introduction methods of process planning drawing interpretation material evaluation steps in process selection production equipment and tooling selection so among these contents we are going to study about the computer aided process planning and the methods of process planning then we can see the course outcomes so when the students uh, studied in this first unit the students are able to apply the knowledge of engineering fundamentals for process planning we can see the process planning activities first what is process planning process planning comprises the selection and the sequencing of operations and operations to transform a chosen raw material into a finished component it is the act of preparing detailed work instruction to produce a component so simply it is a step by step procedure how the material is converted into a required part or product so this is the process planning activities so analyze the finished part requirements second one determine the operation sequence so what are the operations available in that pro product then select the necessary equipment by which machines you can uh, do that particular operations calculate the processing times so how much time required for every operations document process planning we have to make the document for the what process plan we made finally communicate with the shop floor this is process planning sheet or operation sheet or root sheet an operation sheet is a document that list all the details of the operations needed to complete the part or assembly it includes information on the machine to be used the speed of cut depth of cut etc when the process involves metal cutting so this is one example of process planning sheet so it is all the data about the product these are the operation number then work material then tool material machine tool sketch cutting speed feed rate depth of cut machining time so all the data about the product and processes will be available in this process planning sheet then methods or approaches of process planning basically the process planning is divided into two types there is manual process planning and computer aided process planning computer aided process planning is divided into two there is a variant type and generation type regenerative method now you can see the manual or traditional process planning this type of planning is known as non variant process planning it is the commonest type of planning used for production today as a first step the production engineer examines the part trying to identify similarities with the previously produced products if similarities are recognized the process planning plan is manually retrieved from the similar item the process plan is either used without modifications 
for identical parts are modified to meet the manufacturing requirements of the new part although old process plan are used as references for similar parts there is still significant duplication of effort due to the lack of efficient information retrieval comparison and editing techniques the manual method may also lead to inconsistency incons- in the final plans because it is unlikely that two process planners will generate identical process plans this is variant or retrieval method of process planning the task of process planner becomes one of modifying the existing plan to suit the particular dimensions of the current part the selected process plan is provided to the user for modification and variation the process planners are required to perform the entire process planning method only in the case of a completely new part design this approach of process planning is also known as retrieval cpp system so here this is a procedure user enters the part part code number so every part has on part family and it is code number part family says that by using that code number it searches the part family then part family matrix file files a file is there from that standard machine routing will be retrieved then standard operation will be retrieved if edit is required edit, edit must be takes place then process plan formatter will produce the process plan the generative method of process plan in this method the computer uses the stored manufacturing and design data to generate a complete list of all possible process plan that could be used to manufacture the current part it then exhaustively searches this list for the one which optimizes the cost function this method always yields the optimum process plan for manufacturing a particular part however it has a very high, high cost in terms of time and computer processing expenses the computations required to provide even a single process plan for the arbitrary part design can be enormously complex to repeat this for every feasible process plan or a part can become very costly thank you